Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire, and I am super excited to be scrutinizing another video for you guys today. This time, we're going to be taking a look at Niels and Bianca's latest performance. Let's get right into it. Okay, I've got to get my critical eye on. Uh, this is going to be, I'm assuming, a non-improvised uh, type performance, most likely. So if it's a performance that's at Camp Hollywood, they usually do a lot of like, uh, they do some improvisation stuff there, but it's a lot of performances. And I love performances, so obviously with performances, there's a lot of subjectivity, or shall I say most of it is subjective. But I want to show you guys my initial reaction and how I feel about it. And then I'm going to give you my verdict, what I think, if it was hot or not, and, and what I think about it. So I'm a little nervous. Let's see what's going to happen. Let's dive right into it. Ooh, Bill Call Rag. We know it's going to be fast. I love their swing outs. Slow motion aerial, like it. They get one person in the audience, maybe the videographer. Like that left hand hold on that aerial, that was nice. Track speeding up. I suspect this is their breather. No, it's the ending. All right. All right, guys, uh, that was interesting. Let's talk about this one. Okay, I gotta say right up front that they have a tremendous amount of stamina in this performance. And I know it is super hard to stay in shape right now. Everybody's locked in their houses because of COVID-19. So it is incredibly admirable to see them just be able to go full out to bugle call rag at that kind of speed. I know I can do that, but it takes me at least like two or three weeks to kind of get myself together and do some sit-ups and stuff like that. But man, shout out to them for nailing it with the high energy, the entire song. I didn't feel like they were like dragging at all or just kind of getting fatigued towards the end. Though I will say that the ending kind of threw me. I thought it was just gonna modulate and keep going. Um, Glad it didn't for their sake because they looked amazing. Now, my initial feeling, how do I feel when I see that? There's, there's a mix of emotions when I saw that. Obviously, they're, they're super good with the technical stuff. They dance together so they can, they can nail their aerials. They can nail their choreography. Um, the, what, what stood out to me was the slow motion aerial. I don't know if you guys saw that one. Like, if you take a look at it right here, you can kind of see how they're, like, taking their time to make that aerial happen and then she kind of goes under his legs and does that. I love stuff like that. I think that was probably the most memorable uh, move for me that was creative. Um, yeah, that, I think that one stood out to me the most. So that's generally what I look for when I'm watching performances. I like to look for three things, much like social dancing. But obviously I want to look at 
uh, control. Do they have the technique down? Obviously, yes, they're doing a competitive piece. Do they have timing? This is the really hard one because when it's choreographed, you can make some poor choices artistically and really kind of botch the emotional feeling that the audience is waiting to have when you place your moves in the wrong spot. And I don't think they had any trouble with that, particularly in this. They were really nailing some of these aerials on awkward moments, but they still hit really emphatic parts in the music, like snares instead of like the, the odd numbers. I thought that was really cool that they did that. But then the, the, the thing that really sets it off for me is when they have that last ingredient, which is creativity. Those are the three things I look for, timing, control, and creativity to really kind of determine who's kind of first place. But how do I look at that, those parameters with this particular performance? Now, I don't feel a tremendous amount of emotion watching this. I've seen thousands of videos. I've, I've danced hours upon hours upon hours. And there were certain parts of this that kind of felt <sighs> regular. Here's what I mean, like I can look at them in a silhouette and I can tell who it is. I know that's Niels and Bianca, but I can also see that this is a genre of dancing that kind of looks like the 1940s, like literally like the 1940s. And that's what I love about their style. And usually when I see them doing this style, there's always a, a significant amount of creativity that they add to those movements. But I didn't feel like this one was really creative per se, aside from that. Um, Ariel that I like. There were just there were some moments where it just kind of felt like, okay, that's pretty good. They can dance, but emotionally I didn't feel anything. And I think that could be because of the music. I know that song, but I'm trying to put on my lens as someone who doesn't do swing dancing, and it's a bit tinny. You know, there's a lot of trouble in that, and so it kind of it may have been the venue that kind of took away the sound and the movement impact, that emotional um, feeling that kind of resonates when you get that timing right. But I didn't feel anything emotionally um, watching it. I felt that, in a way, I could probably do this routine. Give me a week or so. I, there wasn't anything I saw that was like totally off bounds for what I can do. And so that's the only part I would take back on it that I thought was okay. And, and I don't know if that was just, you know, it's 2020. Anything can happen in this year. But I, I guess... You know, I've seen a lot as someone who does this professionally and judges competitions, and I felt like this this was probably like a maybe like a warm up performance for their level, like eight 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 out of ten. You know, not not a bad movie, not a really really good movie that I probably want to see over and over again, but somewhere in between. But I don't know about you, but sometimes that's the most disheartening kinds of movies when they're good but they're not like amazing. And I kind of feel like this performance is like that in, in some ways where there were some good moments in it, but I wouldn't go to the point where I say, I can't wait to watch that over and over and over again. So that's how I feel about this one. I'm kind of mixed. I would give it a B plus or maybe an A minus on that in terms of like the competitive nature. Now, if I was watching other videos and comparing them to other people, I'm pretty sure that their work ethic and ability to actually do swing dancing in a respectable and professional way, they they would blow other people away. So I haven't got a chance to watch any other videos, but for their standards, for what I've seen, I give them an A minus uh, for this particular performance. Um, big shout out to them. If you haven't subscribed to their channel, do that. I know they have an online school now. A lot of dancers are doing that. We have an online school, so if you guys are wanting to check out like creativity and different ways to do swing dancing, um, we've really stripped away the complexity of it so that you can pretty much figure out how to do it without having a teacher. So if you like that, check out our school. We got about 20 free courses that are on there. You'd really like that. What did you guys think about Niels and Bianca's performance? Obviously, it's something new and fresh in the year 2020 when there's hardly anything going on, but do you think it lives up to the hype? I kind of do and I kind of don't. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I look forward to hearing your thoughts. Take care.